What up, bitches? <laughs> I don't know why I started the video like that. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to... <laughs> I just had this idea of just like screaming at the start of the video and that's what came out. Anyways, hello everybody and welcome back to another mega modded Gungeon episode. I'm going to play as the Marine this time because I've been shitting the bed as every other character. Also, you might notice I have a different um, stats bar on. The reloaded hood mod apparently has some memory leak or something, so I swapped out to this one. Anyways, let's try and do a run where we actually do well for once because last episode was a shocking performance. It was a shocking performance. My goodness. My goodness. It cannot be understated how terrible it was. Either way, we're going to hope for the best here. We're going to see what's what. We're going to um, see if we can get a good run going. And I'm going to build up that win streak that I was talking about last episode before I, again, absolutely shit the bed. My monetization of this episode is already got out the window. It's already gone. I don't care. <laughs> I've always said this about YouTube, like, I'll never be a sort of person that filters myself to appease the YouTube gods. I'm sure it has hampered the growth of my channel and the amount of monetization that I get, but I just don't care. I'd rather make content being me than I would do... So What's going on with my game right now? Don't make me reboot the game, it took so long to boot this up. I will be very mad. This isn't looking good, fellas. This isn't looking good. Okay, wait. Okay, it's doing something. Right, okay, okay. The game is finally abiding by the rules of what I told it to do, and that is start a goddamn run. Ugh. Anyhow. Let's, um... Let's just get this going. Come on. Hey, a Roboros level 8. Yeah, we need to... We, we've been on a Roboros level 8 for so goddamn long that I, I need to... I need to be better as a human. I need to be much better. Because I have been, yeah, as I said, just not doing really that great at the minute. Oh, God. Oh, you guys managed to uh, nicely kill yourself on some fire there. I appreciate that. Who's the leftover fella? It's you. Hello. Let us hope, let us pray that our chests are spicy. I want a red chest at least on this floor. I will settle for nothing less. I will settle for nothing less. Yeah, damn, that guy's getting a little bit saucy. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. It's all alright. And I'd like a key kin as well, if that isn't too much to ask. But yeah, it's nice to be back on Gungeon again. Um, I haven't recorded Gungeon since I went away on my holiday. I, I apologize that it's been like over a week since the last episode. I know my, my upload schedule at the minute is really boxed, I'm, and I do apologize, it's been really bad recently. I went on holiday, like, last week, so that's why there hasn't been an episode earlier this week. Um, and I was supposed to be back on Sunday, um, from my holiday, but instead, the, fl the flight was cancelled three hours before it was meant to take off. We were already in the airport, and it got cancelled, and the next available flight was, like, two days after, so we had to take the fucking bus. The bus home from Amsterdam. It took 16 hours. 16 hours the bus took. My god. Oh, overall, actually, including wait time for the bus and transition time, the whole trip was around 21 hours. It was excruciating. Um, but I got home significantly earlier than I would have done if we'd have waited for a replacement plane. And we saved a hell of a lot of money. So it was worth it in the end. Either way, I am back, and that is why you didn't get a Gungeon episode earlier this week. I apologize, I'm going to try and be better with it, but at the same time, I say I'm going to try, that doesn't mean I actually will. <laughs> you get what you get. Now, Gungeon, Gungeon is, is like my secondary series, and it has been for a while. It, I upload it when I can, but it's not like my complete main focus. What is this little thing? The sm oh, this is a smoker. I really like the smoker. It's a really cool weapon. It kind of does exactly what it says on the tin. It smokes, and then those smoke things do damage over time, I think? Oh, there's a Womnik here. I am shook. Hello, little Womnik. I did not expect you. And you gave me the tractor beam, which is kind of decent. Decent enough. Yeah, I don't know how powerful the smoker is. Uh, we need to try it on some, like, bullet kin or weaker enemies to see sort of how well it does for us. There you go, look. That's, it's pretty good. 
It's pretty good. I like the way it leaves like the plumes of smoke around. What we've got going on here, we've got the smelter, reload stone, the percussion cap. Don't really know what that is. Is that, is that percussion cap? Percussion cap, yeah. We do have enough to buy it. There's also the scope there as well, which is good. I'm inclined to take the percussion cap at the minute, because that sounds intriguing to me. Um, but I do want to see what my other chest is first, because our, our other key may be more valuable to us. But yeah, first time I've seen a war mimic in a while. I don't know how this is going to fare against the boss, by the way. It doesn't seem all that good. It seems decent. The tractor beam actually might be very good against the boss, because the... Um, the crux of it is that it pulls enemies towards you, but that's obviously not a problem, um, normally. Like, just filling the room with smoke here. Good old bit of smonk. Gotta love some smonk. Okay, so it's just a green chest. I think I'm gonna take the cap instead, because it's, it's, it's a C tier as well. He's so tiny, he's so teeny weeny. What a cute little lad. Right, let's go and see what this cap does. I do not remember. I hope it's good. Blank and spores. That doesn't sound good to me so far. Mushroom cap responds to the resin's frequency of blanks, letting it know it's time to release spores. Basically, when we blank, it releases spores. Not particularly useful, but also not awful. But yeah, tracks of me might be quite good against the boss here, simply because um, we're not going to be pulling the enemy towards us. Yeah, that does relatively fuck all damage. Yeah, this is pretty amazing. Of course, it is incredibly limited in its range. Also, just just fill this whole area with smoker shots. Oh, wait. Okay, it has insane range. I thought it had really limited range. Since when did it have infinite range? Did it always have infinite range? Or did I, did I break something? I swear it didn't have infinite range before. Ooh, there's my spores. Oh, and the spores actually do target the boss as well. Nice. I need to check with the tractor beam, because I swear it didn't have infinite range before. We get ourselves whatever this thing is. Oh, we've used this before, haven't we? Yeah, this thing's decent. Um, Smoker, or I think we'll go with the tractor beam here. Let me just quickly check. Pulls enemies towards you. Um... It doesn't say anything specific about it being um, about it being low range. Maybe I'm just incorrect about that. I don't know. I don't rightly know. Anyways, we'll be heading down to the next floor. Quickly break this bad boy. Hey, extra armor. That's really not bad at all. Danka danka. Right, let's go. To the next floor. Away we go. Yeah, the Psy, the, the Psy thingy, whatever that was called. I can't remember what it's called now. Psy Beam, Psy something or other. It's pretty good. I think it just basically automatically targets enemies that are in the room. So it's going to be a nice way for us to deal basically kind of passive damage while sitting behind cover and stuff. Which is pretty useful for not being hit. Which at the minute has been the primary reason as to why I've not been doing so well. It's weird that, isn't it? Getting hit leads to me losing more. Psy Scale is what it's called. Okay. Just doesn't have great fire rate as all. But yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah. I don't have to be near the enemy for it to target. It's just whatever enemy I'm closest to gets automatically targeted. But it doesn't matter if I'm, like, miles away or not. But it seems like a, a weapon that would massively benefit from a fire rate increase. Oh, God. Yeah. We got this big-ass room. Tractor Beam's actually pretty useful on enemies that are weak like this. And also enemies that don't move. Quickly check out the shop. Use the smoker a little bit as well as we go through here. We got the finger guns. We also got a lot and a lot and a lot of keys. Holy hell. I don't know why I decided to roll directly into that explosion there. It was not my best idea. Needs a bit more ammo pair magazine as well. That would certainly help. It does have a pretty fast reload, though, so... At least there's that. Unfortunately, it's targeting the bells quite often here. 
The smoker seems like something that will synergize quite well with other stuff. Uh, we should go and buy one of those keys real quick. In case we've got a fused chest. Thank you. Does it instantly put out fire base enemies? Because that seemed to kill him really fast. That might have just been coincidence. There's our boss. Good. Uh, oh, we've got a challenge room here. Which is nice, but we don't really have the money for it right now. Hopefully by the end of the floor we do. There's some ammo. I think I'll just take it for this at this point. Yeah, I won't go through. Oh, wait. I can't get to that chest at the moment. Until I pay for the challenge room. Unless I want to invalidate the challenge. So we've got to go elsewhere right now at least. Let me just see if the smoker does insta-kill these guys. No, it doesn't. It was just random chance. These guys are weak and it put them out looked like it put them out straight away. Good. Smonked. Lovely. I don't know how much the challenge room will actually cost, to be honest. Might not be too much. Flippity flip, flippity flip. Yeah, the smoke is definitely a weaker gun, but it's it, it's intriguing. I really like as as like a gun in terms of like what it looks like and how it functions. I think it's really cool. It's quite nice to just fill that room up there. That was a very near miss there. You're a bit annoying. Oh, we're all out of smoke ammo. That thing, that thing was out quick. That thing was out very quick. Right, we have got enough for another key at the moment, but like I said, we probably want to do the challenge room, considering it invalidates otherwise. Chest-wise, we've got a blue chest here. We'll hold off on opening that up yet. We do have this challenge room, although I'm not particularly enthused to do that right now on this run, especially when I'm trying to sort of Find my footing again, because at the minute, like I said, I'm playing like crap. Right, how much are you going to cost, good sir? Probably about 20, right? Something something on those lines. 18, okay. Oh, we, we get the money back though, don't we? Yeah, okay, so I accept your challenge. I'm not quite sure what he actually asked me to do. I think he said in challenge mode. Yeah, it wasn't challenge mode. We just got Rat's Revenge, that's fine. Easy. Let's see what we get from this bad boy. We got ourselves the well gun, which is not amazing, but it's it's a, it's a pretty solid, de like a decent gun. Our chest here is some partial ammo, which is rather nice, uh, and yet another blue chest. Okay, we'll crack that open. We get ourselves the lataka. Lataka is it called? Which is pretty decent. And we'll buy ourselves the key and open up this as well. That is something I'm not understanding right now. That is the Lime Guanstone. Not something I've seen before. Releases orbital energy when struck. Intriguing. Guanstone has been somewhat over-enchanted and is um, unable to fully constrain all of its rotational magic. I'm intrigued by that. I'm not actually sure now what our best boss killing weapon is. I think it's still the tractor beam. Just because it doesn't do the main downside of this weapon. I think I'm still going to use the tractor beam here. Oh, I see. Okay. So when, when the, the, the Lime Gonstone gets hit, it spawns orbital shots. That's a really cool idea. I really like that. That's very intriguing. That's not how I thought it would work. I thought it would re release like a little radial blast of energy sort of thing. I actually prefer this. Especially on bosses. It's really nice on bosses. It's got a very high chance of being hit. 
Nice. Yeah, Tractor Bean's definitely doing a very good job at killing bosses right now. And we got double keys plus the key effigy here. Wow. Not what I expected at all there. Uh, pretty happy to see that. I think we just carry on now. And I think we're going to use the Well Gun for room clearing and maybe the uh, Lan... Lantaka? Lantaka. Hard to pronounce. Maybe not for most people, but for me it's hard to pronounce. <laughs> right. Let's go to the next one. I'm feeling pretty positive about this run. We've got a really decent boss killer, and we've got some pretty average room killers. But honestly, if you have multiple average room killers, that, that's all you need to get you by. That's all you need to carry you through. I am happy with it. Let's keep her going. Come on, floor. Lord boy. Yeah, I can't remember what's better between the Well Gun and the Lataka. Uh, they're both the same tier, so... So th this one is bouncy and a two-shot kill on these Mushroom guys. Let's try the Well Gun on the next guy. And that's a five-shot kill. Um, and it fires reasonably fast. Yeah. It's average. Obviously, with this one, the bouncingness. This is pretty good. I like this. Uh, we don't have any curse yet. Let's grab one curse. In case we find the uh, black market room also to get slightly higher chance of ammo drops. Yeah, I'm liking this gun as a room clearer. I think this works really well. Bouncing and piercing. It's nice things to have. We've got a pretty fast reload as well, to be honest. And it's it seems quite ammo efficient, too. I would say. Uh, then ammo, we'll give that to the tractor beam. Fills this bad boy up again straight away. Yeah, I'm really, really liking the lime guanstone. That's a really cool idea for a guanstone. One, see, this is crazy. Like, the, the, there's still stuff I haven't seen in modded Gungeon after all this time. Still items I've never come across before. That's that bounce helping us out there. We got our shop here, good bit of money as well. We have the copper chariot. That is probably a melee weapon. Um spawn a gun nut you control. Okay, no. That is um Is that an active item? Oh, no, it says semi-automatic. It's a weapon. Seems very good. I mean, it's very pricey, obviously. Oh, hello. We've also got pay to win. Can only be used near chests. When used, upgrades the nearest chest for casings. Better chests cost more to upgrade. Brown chest, 25. Yeah, that, that's pretty fun. Lamette Configurum is something I really, really like. So let's pop that down, and I will buy Lamette Configurum. Um... Ammo-wise, I don't think we have anything we need to fill here. I guess just the smoker. Um, yeah, I love Lamet Configure him. I think it's awesome. We'll use that whenever we get the opportunity. Cool stuff. I think, it pay out, I think it's payout on the second usage, the fifth usage, and the eighth usage are like the only ones I'm going to get to. Because it, it's not random. Some people think it's random. It's not. It pays out on specific usages. I definitely know the second it pays out. I think the next one's like the fourth or the fifth. Something like that. Kind of hard to keep track of. Or hard to remember more. More so, should I say. I love those enemies. Free chest there. That's going to be another blank based something or other. DTF fused amulet. Turns blanks into bombs which explode and erase all bullets in the room. The bombs will not explode instantly. Uh, okay, that's kind of interesting. So using blanks now creates a blank bomb. Um, first for one second. When a blank bomb explodes, it will create an explosion dealing 250 damage in a three tile radius. It also causes a normal blank effect. Ooh. Ooh, okay. So we can actually use our blanks aggressively now, which is really intriguing. Especially if they trigger our blank effects 
at the location that they explode. I actually think that's, like, kind of amazing. I get that, like, I get why it's D tier, because it does take away your ability to blank normally. But I really, really like that. Really, really like it. Lama configure him's almost ready. Dude, it is it is the blue chest epidemic right now. Blue chest bonanza. It's all we're getting. I mean I don't particularly mind. Blue chests are okay. But I'd like one that's a little higher. Just one. This annoying ash room is brought to you by the uh the same genius that brought you pixel art rooms. It was me. We got clone. All right. I, I'll i be honest. I don't actually have time for a clone run. I'm not going to lie. So what I might be doing here is... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do here, actually. I, I literally have like an hour to record. Like, well, no, I have like an hour and 15 minutes, so we'll have to see. I don't really know what I'm going to do here. I might have to split split this into two recordings, maybe? I don't know. Wasn't expecting clone. You don't often expect clone. We shall see. Maybe I'll, like, kill myself on the hollow rather than the forge or something, once I've seen my chests. Skip an extra floor. I don't want to have to do that, but yeah. <laughs> like, I am going out in just under an hour. Or supposed to be. Alright, here's the boss. Um, blue chest or purple room? What What's the purple rooms again? I forget. I'm going to take the purple room and hope for the best here. It was... What? It was another chest room? Oh, plus one bullets. Hell yeah. And we got a synergy. Oh, cool. Synergy with the uh, the lime guanstone. I wonder what that does. I'm intrigued. Do you have another key here? I guess it's going to get way out of hand here, but I'm down for it. I can't remember what this does. Lightweight armor. I always forget. Better rolling or something? Good for nimble movement, but makes it much harder for guns to keep their footing. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's worse roll faster movement speed, which is fine by me. I'm wondering how buffed the uh, the green guanstone is going to be here. Oh, bollocks. Oh, wait, the bombs aren't thrown. Okay, that makes it a little worse. I thought the bombs would be thrown. Like a normal bomb item. It doesn't make it quite as good as I thought. Still, it's nice, though. We did lose our uh, thingy here, master round. Yeah, not quite as good as I was hoping, but still good. Oh, I forgot to use Lamb at Configure him. God damn it. If you use it just before the boss dies, it kills everything. Okay, this 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 weapon doesn't work too well on controller. If I grab my mouse. Oh wait, I can't. One second, one second. I've, I've got to actually fully swap to mouse movement here. There you go. This thing's actually a really good weapon, but it literally doesn't work on controller, which is fine. I forget how to play this game on mouse and keyboard. It's been so long. Cool, right. I'm gonna just play on mouse and keyboard from now on, why not? I've got clone. Take a risk. Um, there's a key in here for some reason. Don't know why. I don't remember how to do any of this. Uh, I'm not going to go for the green chest. Uh, not green chest, uh, brown chest. We will go down to the next floor, yeah? 
Yeah, I'm just going to fob off the controller for now and take a bit of a risk. Why not? Take a bit of a risk. God damn it. Why do I have to get clone? I love clone. Why do I have to get clone on a day where I do not really have the time for it? Like I, like I said, I'm, I'm literally supposed to leave the house in 50 minutes. Or, uh, to be fair, less than 50 minutes. Okay, some sludge. How do I... How do I do the weapon wheel? Oh, that's a blank. Whoopsie. How do I how do I do weapon swap wheel? I forget what the weapon swap wheel is. Shift. Okay, it's control. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I quite like using this weapon. It's just it's a fun idea for a weapon. So I don't want to fob it off. Not a curse of slime at the minute. It's just fun that, like, having a trigger finger is even better for this. This guy will not die. There you go, finally. Took him some time. And with uh, plus one bullets giving this extra damage as well, it's even better. Smack that boy. Cool, we got a mini boss here. Um, tractor beam for the mini boss. How do I skip this? Is doing reasonably well. Oh, dude, the amount of shots we've got swirling around us right now is beautiful. Ah, bugger. Cool. We got him. Didn't get much great stuff here. Oh, these shots. I was just about to say, these shots better not destroy chests. They very much do. We got a, a blue chest down there as well. Let's leave that for now. Flicky. Yeah, I gotta be aware of that in the future. I like the fact that the shots have a slight bit of AoE as well. Uh, we should also pop one and configure him here. Leaking syringe. Oh, dude. Leaking syringe gave us an insane amount of damage there. So I, I'm guessing it's gonna mean that I die very easily or something. Right, let's see what that does. Leaking syringe. Gives a massive damage up, but killing enemies reduces damage until the boost is lost. That's pretty good. We get ourselves whatever this is. Have a little look, see what this does. Buffs enemies, but removes their ability to call in reinforcements. Ooh, that's really good. That's really, really good. Right. Okay, let's speed run this bad boy. I want some ammo for this bad boy. A huge damage increase is very nice with this. It does seem to drain pretty quickly. Oh, dude, three of these guys, really? Beautiful. Come on, my pretties. Is it one click each for you guys? It is. The point and click adventure game, baby. There's jammed. Four clicks for a jammed one. Aha, no reinforcements, though, dude. This is so crazy, like... This is speeding things up so much. <laughs> I was saying I wanted to go faster. 
This is certainly doing that. Like so, like a room like that normally has so many wa like waves. Right, I, I'm buying ammo if there's ammo available because this thing is a really fun weapon to use with mouse and keyboard, and I've almost run out of ammo. God damn it, there's no ammo. I will buy a key, of course. Got our last chest. Which is also another green chest, so we'll definitely be going for that. Creech, no. Just about managed to dodge that. Goddamn Creech. Yeah, I don't know how I dodged that, but I got lucky, I guess. Yeah, we're already down to 2.5 damage. Honestly, like, not a great item, but then again, I think it was only B tier, so... I just always assume it's higher tier when it comes from, um, well, I'm configurer, but it can give B tier stuff. And we get ourselves the Nocturne. Not quite sure what the Nocturne is. Alternates between fast purple blasts and uh, more damaging green blasts. Intriguing. Right. Um, let's use this for the boss, I guess. See what, see how it does. See how it does. How do I skip boss animations? What's what? What the hell's the skip button? I'm pressing like literally everything and nothing skipping it. Really? You're going to do this attack instantly, you coward? You absolute coward? Oh my god. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm not used to fucking dodge rolling on um, keyboard and mouse. Awkward. It's, it's not awkward, it's just not familiar. It's m really? You absolute coward. I used Lama Configure at the right time then. Fuck yes. I did it. We got the Tarnished Amulet as well here. Which is... This amulet has been subjected to the rare effects of time. Um, and it's completely tarnished. Tarnished all enemies when you use a blank. Tarnished uh, slow enemies down. Mark them with pierceable by any projectile and increases the damage projectiles that pass through them. Okay, that seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. Um, and then we want to pop a blank. A lot of chests, baby. Right, okay. Uh, we will go to the next floor and quickly try and do our chests. In fact, I'll go and get that blue chest as well real quick. And then we'll kill ourselves straight away. Turkey! Fuck yeah, turkey's such a good item, because it's a turkey, but also because it's actually really good. <laughs> right, down we go. Down we go. I'm excited. This, this run's a lot of fun. I might actually have time as well, considering we're already at the forge this far in. I might have time to do my clone run. Right, what, what weapon do we want to use right now? I really just want to use the clicker. The cursor is, is love, the cursor is life. But um, I don't have the... Uh, I don't really have the ability to do that right now. By the way, also, we need to check our inventory to see if there's anything that's worth dropping currently. Because um, we might have some weapons from Lanark Configurum that are not actually worth their weight in terms of how much curse they're giving us. Might be able to get rid of them. Also, once that syringe gives us, isn't giving us any damage up anymore, we can also get rid of that, and that'll remove some curse as well. Right, let's quickly just take a little look-see. Um, what's it given us so far? Um, what has Lamet Configuring given us so far? It's given us Clone, it's given us the syringe... And it's given us... It gave us one other thing, didn't it? I don't remember. Is the other thing the clicker, maybe? 
Another thing might be the clicker. Oh well, let's uh... I'm just gonna waste the rest of these shots so I know it's empty. Good. I don't like not knowing when a weapon's empty. I guess I could just use the Latanker again. This thing was Latanker, let's Latak, whatever you want to call it. This thing was doing a pretty good job before. Playing on keyboard and mouse, it feels wrong. Just because I started playing this game on PlayStation, so now playing on keyboard and mouse just doesn't feel right. Even though I like, I don't, I don't mind it at all. Like it's, I, I've got good aim and stuff. Like I really don't mind it. I'm typically just a controller player in this game, and always have been. That's that tarnished enemy. We're getting a lot of blanks per floor right now, which is nice. Saves you from death once, but charges you every floor. Reload blocks nearby bullets. Armor and blanks are weakened. Stat boost at the start of every floor, uh, but decays over time into negatives. Okay, with, with unfortunately we can't really take those. Ooh, shadow bullets. I will 100% take. I love shadow bullets. Yeah, unfortunately the the cursed items is a really fun idea, but I feel like quite a lot of them the negatives just the positives aren't quite worth it. There's some of them that are good, like the life insurance one is interesting. I think on a on an average run, that's a good idea. On a clone run, it just doesn't make any sense though. Clicker, yes. We got more clicks now. Not liking that of jammed shots that are in the area right now. There you go. Take you out. S tier. All projectiles are replaced by asteroids that deal 25% more damage, have fixed projectile speed, explode um, for 5 seconds in a 1 tile radius, and burn nearby enemies in destruction. Because asteroids are different projectiles, they will not keep projectile specific effects like homing, bouncing, piercing. I like it. I like it a lot. That sounds really fucking cool. I have no idea, no idea how it's going to work with the clicker. Okay, it works really fucking well with the clicker. It's basically just a super rapid fire, infinite asteroids. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> this is really cool. I really, honestly, I really don't need to use Lamet Configurum anymore because it's going to be ages till we get our next item. Oh, dude, the problem at the minute is we're constantly getting weaker because we're killing enemies from the syringe. And we've got that thing where there's no second wave, but all the enemies have more HP. Before, we didn't really notice it, but now we're really feeling it. A Shrine of Chance? Nah, I'm not going to risk it right now. Also, of course, the curse is increasing, meaning enemies have more HP anyways. They're jammed all, a lot of the time. Dude, don't do it. Okay. We open that up. We get Cronenberg bullets. And we also get to blank. Which gives us the Makarov, which fires these now. Um, and let's see, what other weapons can we use that would be good with this setup? Uh... Because the attacker, I can't imagine, is super good now. Yeah, I can't imagine that's very good now. That doesn't do anything different. The smoke is kind of interesting. Ooh, okay, the shotgun's pretty good. We'll try the shotgun out. It's still Cronenbergs as well, which is nice. Okay, yeah, shotgun's pretty good here. But a lot, like, some of our weapons have become much worse with the asteroids, unfortunately. But that's kind of the nature of how this works. It's a transmog, trans, transformative bullet modifier. I like the fact that it's crazy good knockback as well. That's nice. Get 
Get out of here, Cronenberg. Wait, what? Is the door open? Oh shit, it's open. Okay, I'm stupid. We got a shrine here of some kind. Terrifying. Oh, is this, this, is this the challenge room? Wait, no. This isn't just the challenge room. What the fuck is this? What have I done? What is this? I have no idea what this is. I've never seen this before. Did I break it? Hmm. Well, that is quite a challenge. I can't even press escape. Hmm. I will be right back. Okay, I don't know what happened, but I basically just... It was just stuck on a white screen. I just reloaded the forge and we're going to kill ourselves now. <laughs> because, yeah, I don't know what happened there. And I do not want to lose a clone run to that. Because that would really suck. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to um, just reload the floor and then kill ourselves so we can clone. That was a bit poopy. Little bit poopy. I have, I have literally no idea what that shrine was meant to do. I'm guessing it was some sort of boss fight, but it just didn't load. I'm not quite sure what I did wrong, or if it's bugged, I, I have no idea. Apologies to anyone's mod that I broke inadvertently, it happens. Um, right. I, ca I can't move, so that's good. Great, I think I've bricked this run. Right, one moment. It's not looking good, somebody responded saying it's something that he's been meaning to fix, but was busy with other things, which is a shame, but I don't know why I don't have any control of my character. I, I don't know if there's anything I can do. Like, I'm pressing all the buttons and nothing's happening. Um, which is a real shame, because, yeah, I'm gonna say, clone. Poor sweet clone. What, do you know, one thing, a mod, that would be phenomenal, and I have absolutely no idea if this is possible. In fact, it sounds like it isn't, just thinking about it. It sounds like it'd be really, really hard. It'd be awesome if there was a command I could type in to save my current loadout and then I can um, type in another command to reload that loadout so that I can restart a new run and give myself all the stuff back like quickly because what I could do is in theory I could take a screenshot of all of this and retype out every single item and recreate the run for one I don't really have time to do that and for two that's just gonna be tedious as all hell but this is a really, really sucky run for this to happen on. Like, I haven't had clone in so goddamn long. Oh my god. Anyhow. Yeah, I'm gonna pause for a second, speak to the modders, and I'll be right back. But I don't think we're gonna get this fixed, unfortunately. Okay, we are back, and I went through the painstaking process of recreating the run. And just for prosperity's sake, um, I'm gonna do this to give myself most of the curse back. Because I was at about 9 curse. Um, I wasn't at exactly nine, but yeah, I recreated the run. We'll see how this goes. Um, yeah, either way, it is what it is. I've not got every item that I had, but I've got a good amount of them left. Um, so yeah, we'll just sort of see how this goes. And see if we can finish off this run in a reasonable amount of time. There's a few items I don't have that I kind of forgot about, but I got all the main ones if you want to check what I've got. Um, tablet, plus one bullets, Cronenberg, Lime, Turkey, Shadow Bullets, Asteroid Bell, and then for the weapons, I wasn't using any's other than the Clicker, the Tractor Beam, or the Wellgun. I did have a few other weapons, but I wasn't really using them, so I didn't think they were super necessary for me to, uh, go and grab. The Clicker's the main one I wanted. And this is, like, obviously I didn't need to spawn in Clone again, because I was going to start from the beginning anyways. Uh, we of course don't have the same money or, uh, keys that we had before either, but, eh, what it is what it is. Irradiated bullets, that's kind of nice. We also don't have some of the blank items that we had before either. But again, not particularly important in the grand scheme of things. I, I also don't have the Lambert Configurum either. But again, I wasn't going to be using that much from now on either, so... So there you go. More ammo. Wait, where'd the other ammo go? Did the other ammo get stolen from the rat? It did, okay. Oops. 
take that ammo then. Right. Let's keep moving. I want to try and do this quickly because, like I said, I don't have a lot of time left. I was supposed to be done, like, now. <laughs> um, but I also don't want to deprive of a clone run because it just feels bad. <laughs> Oh, I see you, Keyboy. I'm not going to be able to get to you in time, am I? Oh, no, I got him. Wow, that was very lucky. Not quite know how I did that. I'm loving this with the meteorite thing, though. It's such a janky setup, but it's so good. It's so strong with the knockback as well, and the explosions and everything. Dude, we're getting so much ammo right now. That's because of the curse that we're on. Jammed enemies are taking quite a while. We also don't have the syringe thing, but we are almost completely out of the damage that was giving us anyways. Piece of armor pair floor, that's nice. We're not going to do excess syringe, we can go straight for the boss here. He is jammed, okay. Oh my god, that damage is beefy. I wonder what the tractor beam's like right now. Okay, tractor beams are also pretty good. Doing a really decent job. Oh, when you leave it for a little bit and let the boss armor go away, it does beefy damage. You can see that like burst of damage it does when you stop and start. It's a good way to save ammo when you're hitting DPS cap. Don't know what I was doing there. I meant to blank and I accidentally rolled. It is what it is, it's fine. We don't need an extra mass round, do we? That's another thing as well, we don't have our mass rounds right now, but again, that is what it is. Get the good old gamma ray. To the next floor we go. The beta ray. I always forget this gives you a, a, a different um, visual for the gun as well. Pretty cool. Yeah, but I'll probably also end this at the forge, uh, just because, like I said, I am constricted for time. Um, but still, like I said, I wanted to make sure we got this running, and I didn't want to... I just felt really bad ending it where it end, like where it was, because not only did we not even finish the normal run, we didn't get to use the clone at all, and it's so rare that we get clone. It just yeah, it just didn't didn't feel in the spirit of things. Little case of darkness here. Okay, this thing isn't particularly good for us right now because uh, it doesn't do the explodies, the meteorites that we'd like it to do. Beautiful. Extra key. Lovely. We've got a mini boss here. Who will it be this time? Shadow Magician. I'm reckoning you're going to get relatively wrecked. Especially with no boss armor to protect you. There you go. Indeed you were, good sir. Indeed you were. Careful of those shots that are spinning around us. Where the hell's our chest? Curse of Darkness does not help with finding our chest here. Cartographer's ring's pretty nice. I like it. Uh, map, chance to get mapping each floor. Pretty useful, especially when, like I said, we're trying to go reasonably fast here, so mapping is rather nice to have in that regard. I'm loving the fact that rooms don't have additional waves as well. That's helping a lot. Um, can't remember what this does. Oh, I tell you what it does do, though. It spawns this big boy. I kind of forgot about that. Oops. Oopsie daisy. What on earth is going on in this room right now? This room is so fucking hectic. Oh my lord. This curse of darkness is fucking horrible. <laughs> we might end up just dying before we can get anywhere anyways. Yeah, honestly, this case of darkness is evil. Do not like having this. Nice. Rooms like that become so much easier because normally they're meant to have multiple waves, and it's like, nope, just the one wave for us. Through this way. Oh, there's a laser there that I didn't see. Oh, wait, that's why, because it's an enemy to produce in the laser. 
Is that not everyone? Oh, bugger. My goodness. This Curse of Darkness is horrible. Especially with all the jammed bullets. Don't know what the hell this is. Give us some armor back though. Speedster's helmet. Oh, well, I like speed. I like to go fast. This room again. Yeah, Speedster's helmet. I'm on board with that. A revive chest. Got a clown in it. Which has a gun. It's the ramming gun. Not particularly good for our current setup. Um, back to the clicker. Extra key, lovely. It's just impossible to see what's going on right now. There's a good chance I just die here, to be honest. <clears throat> yeah, with this guy being jammed, there's almost a certainty I die here. Why can't I skip the boss animations anymore? Like, especially once Lord of the Jammed gets here, we're basically screwed. Okay. Okay, I did it and I got a master round. Oh, dude, really? This is not what I need right now. Could have done without that, you fucker. What was the item I got there? This is, this case of Dax is stressing me out so goddamn much. It powers bullets by firing to the left. Yeah. Whatever. Down we go. Ugh. I hate Castle Darkness. I never, I've never had such a problem with it, but when there's like jammed bullets and stuff, oh my god, it's overwhelming. Really overwhelming. But hey, uh, we're on the fourth floor now? Third floor? Fourth floor? Third floor. Third floor. Come on. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I, like, I'm literally supposed to be out of the house, like, in ten minutes. And it's fucking loading screens are taking forever. Oh, we got mapping. That's so nice. Okay. Remember, Lord of the Gem doesn't spawn until we pick something up. You can bugger off and all. Oh, dude. Oh, I picked up ammo. Fucking idiot. Oh, mate. Why with the fire now as well? Can't be dealing with this. This is fucking stupid. There's so much fire. It's an unrelenting amount of... Oh, my God. I fell in both those pits. Are you kidding me? The pits are so huge. Like, the, the fire pools are so huge. And they last for so long. <laughs> Right, you, my friend, are going to have to get over here while we go to the shop. Dude, just, just, what the actual fuck? Yeah, never named. That's a lot of fun, isn't it? You fucking prick. Fuck you. What the fuck is that bullshit? Anyways, that was our clone run. That was our clone run. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was an absolute blast. I hated that. That was awful. For one, playing on, playing on mouse and keyboard definitely didn't help that, but... Never names curses. 
never again. I want a console command to turn those off. Even though I said, even though when he asked me would these be, a, these be a good idea, I was like, yes, they'll be a great idea. But now they've screwed me over, I hate them. <laughs> I'm joking. But either way, they really screwed me over. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.